So if you're interested in louvered roofs or louvered pergolas, aluminum pergolas, whatever, there's a lot of different manufacturers. I want to break those down. We're going to walk through each of the different types and what makes each of them better or why they step up in price and who the different manufacturers are so that you can know a little bit more about the market. Welcome to the Luxury Pergola. I'm Harrison. Uh, we're a family owned business that does aluminum pergolas. So aluminum pergolas have been around for a little while. They've really gotten popular in the last decade or decade and a half. It's hard to separate who is who and what is worth what. There are three categories to this entire market. The first is gonna be a Chinese category. So this is mainly overseas production, either Chinese or Turkish in their base. They're gonna be relatively thin extrusions. They're gonna be inexpensive because they're thin extrusions and they are obviously done overseas. And so there's different ways that they shave cost on the unit itself. These are almost always gonna be manual operation they're gonna have limited gutter capacity. We actually have a video where we built the pergola from Costco, but to list them off, you have the Mirador pergola. That's very popular. It's on Wayfair, Amazon, as well as on Costco. As I said, we have a build of us doing that one. There's a Lunatech. A Lunatech is primarily sold through Alibaba, but it's also sold through a US supplier called Peaceful Patios. Then there's Sorera, which is just another version, but they're very thin extrusions because that's the only way you get the price point down. Most of these products are based on poundage of aluminum and then they mark up the price per pound. I would know, that's what we do, and then sell it on to the customer. So the thinner or lighter you can make the structure, that's the only way you can provide it at a lower price. Being thinner and lighter, the downside to that is going to be wind resistance, though you'll see a lot of marketing terms talking about hurricane force wind loads or crazy snow load resistances. Typically, most of these products have only about a 60 mile an hour wind load rating. We just had a windstorm here in Indiana yesterday and we had gusts well beyond that that would have collapsed most of those structures. So they recommend you take the louvers out when it's getting in high winds. Obviously that adds some tediousness. So they're gonna be at a lower price point, primarily around one and a half thousand to about three and a half thousand. The second version is going to be the aluminum pergolas that look like a traditional pergola, but happen to open and close. These are gonna be small louvers. They're gonna be sitting on top of rafters, just like a normal pergola, and they're gonna open and close. These do not have any gutters attached to them. When the rain pours on them, they just roll off the sides. First, you've got Timo, then you've got Cardinal, then you've got Solera. All of these are gonna have really thin extrusions that go on top. All of them are gonna have rafters underneath to support the fact that they can't carry that big of a snow load, each of those louvers on their own. As I said before, they don't have an integrated gutter system, so the water just pours off the side of the unit. These are typically gonna be somewhere around the eight to $25,000, $30,000 range. And it just depends on the size of the unit and that kind of drives the price. More square footage, more expensive. They're gonna be less expensive traditionally only because of the way that they're manufactured, the way that they're made. They have a little less aluminum in the actual construction itself. Downside of these units is going to be further adjustability. If you wanna add drop shades to them later on, they're not really designed to be able to accommodate screens later on. They're more like if you want a traditional pergola that happens to close. So that's just something to keep in mind as you look at this market. The third one is the one that's the most popular and that's the modern aesthetic. That's gonna have a gutter system integrated on the interior. So it has a gutter system and it has more of that flat look to the overall structure. Those are very popular these days, but they typically come at a very heavy price point. And we'll go through why and what your options are and where you can get the best value. The third option is my favorite. This is what my family and I designed, and that's gonna be a modern aesthetic, and that's gonna have a gutter system on the interior of the unit. These are typically gonna have a flat exterior look to them. So more of that flat, more of industrial look, although you can get trim packages to try and break up that aesthetic. There's two different subsets within this. One is gonna be a single wall louver, so just a single piece of aluminum. And the other one's gonna be a dual wall louver, which means that there's an air pocket in the interior of that louver to allow heat to not transfer through, at least that's the concept. Of the single wall louvers, you're gonna have Apollo and Structure. Those are the popular manufacturers, Apollo being out of California. Structure is now a brand that's owned by Azek, although they used to be an independent company. Both of these are operated through aluminum rods that are hammered into the end of the louver itself. It sets an aluminum track and then it's pulled open and closed. 
Downside here is obviously gonna be heat transfer, but otherwise the general mechanism of the way these work is gonna be pretty similar to the rest of these louvers. General pricing for these tends to vary by company. Uh, I have seen structure quotes of a five by 15 that we had a customer send us where they got quoted about $30,000 for a five by 15. Now that's $450 a square foot. So it tends to vary, but they tend to be quite expensive. On the dual wall louver, you actually have us, the luxury pergola, which is a dual wall. Ours are obviously a lower price point because we sell them as a kit direct to you. You can look at our pricing. I'll talk about that a little later. You've also got companies like Azenco. Their design looks very much like most of the European stuff that's coming out, which is very thin beams that are very tall, 14 inches tall, that are kind of bridged on top of one another with a louver that has an end so imagine this is the bottom that rotates open with that as the bottom. They use actually a composite nub that gets slid into the end of the louver and it sets on a track and then it rotates open and closed. So interesting design, but that's how they do theirs. Proportions tend to be a little bit off, at least in my opinion, on those units. Then you've also got builders like Sundance and theirs is a dual wall louver as well. Although they follow a similar method to the first ones, which is that they put a rod in it rather than capping off that end. So you obviously invite a lot of critters, uh, bugs, spiders, and stuff that can live inside the louvers, which is an interesting concept. These rotate open and close the same as all of the others. They do tend to talk about the span of their louvers, but it's about the same as everyone else. You have deflection rates that you're allowed based on louver spans and how much deflection you can have within an area. Most areas of the United States require an L180 deflection rate or better. And so that means that they can really only do a 12 foot clear span just like everyone else in most jurisdictions. It also sits in a sealed bearing at the end of the louver, which is interesting also because the sealed bearing runs the risk of potentially failing at some point, the seals breaking. And then that obviously because they're just steel inside is gonna end up rusting the ball bearings and then you're gonna have a louver that seizes. But either way, the next manufacturers are gonna be people like Vergola, which is the original louver system company. They originated these in the 80s in Australia. Theirs is a steel one, at least as last I checked, it was a steel louver. So you run the risk, obviously, of the cut ends rusting. But either way, their design has been around for a long time. I don't know how many dealers they have in the States, but that is one option. Equinox is another option. Their louver shape is the exact same as Vergola's. They were originally Vergola dealers, and they made theirs out actually out of aluminum. They then took that same design, made it out of aluminum extrusions, put aluminum cast ends on it. Downside with those is going to be because aluminum's rotating in aluminum when the paint wears away, you end up with aluminum oxide rubbing against aluminum oxide, which if you don't know, aluminum oxide is what they make sandpaper out of. So you get a nice groaning sound when it opens and closes, which is why the luxury pergola, that's why we did a polymer end cap instead. But again, other videos, I can talk about that. But that's pretty much it, that's the market. I mean, there's a lot of different ways they're made. Now, personally, we obviously like ours the best. When we created the Luxury Pergola, we kind of took a lot of the designs that we thought were interesting around the entire world and put them into one unit. The composite end cap and the dual wall are our two favorite things that my father and I talk about a lot. And that's because you don't wanna have an end cap you need to lubricate or that makes you know noises as the oxide rotates. You don't want to use a sealed bearing from the risk of it potentially failing. And the composite, like I said, is self-lubricating. You get the strength you need without the groaning sound. So that's why, you know, now personally, I'm not going to rate which one is the best because I'm biased, but that's kind of the industry. That's what's out there right now. We obviously like ours the best, but you're asking me. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Please do me a favor and subscribe. You can also go to our website, theluxurypergola.com. You look at our prices. We're typically about half of what most of the other manufacturers charge for an installed product. And that's because instead of selling it to a dealer, who then sells it to you, I just sell it directly to you. Either way, that's kind of the industry. That's what's out there. And that's what we recommend. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.